Hello everybody, welcome back to another week of Mrs Longcroft's Quiz Time. Hello everybody and welcome back to Mrs Longcroft's Quiz Time. Um, this week's quiz is going to be on volcanoes. So again, the same rules apply as the last two. I'm going to ask you five questions um, and then at the end of the whole thing, I will go over the answers and you can check how well you've done. Um, as before, please do not worry if you don't even know any of these questions, the answers to them, because I'm going to be going through them and you'll be able to learn something at the end that way. So keep calm, stay tuned and do as best as you can. Good luck. Question one. Can you name one of the three main types of volcano? That's... Can you name one of the three main types of volcano? Your time starts now. Time's up. Moving on to question number two. Volcanoes are classified as either active, dormant, or something else. What is the final classification? So there's three classifications. Volcanoes are either active, dormant, or something else. What is the final classification? guys that's two questions down and three more to go again please don't worry if you don't if you haven't known any of the answers we'll go over it at the end so keep going keep trying good luck with the rest of the quiz okay question number three volcanoes can only be found on land is this true or false question three volcanoes can only be found on land is this true or false Question number four, what is magma? Question number four, what is magma? Question number five. What is the name of the famous historical town that was destroyed by a volcano? What is the name of the famous historical town that was destroyed by a volcano? Vixie says stop that is the end of the quiz for today so we're going to go over all the answers with you now to see how you've done remember don't worry if you didn't get any of them right that's why we're going over them so you can learn something now so let's go on to uh, finding out what the answer was to question number one okay question number one I asked you if you could name one of the three types of volcanoes so we've got composite volcanoes and they emit a stiff, rapidly solidifying lava which forms high, steep-sided cones. They normally have a mixture between violent and non-violent eruptions. So the first one is composite. Second volcano is a cinder cone volcano and they regularly throw out bits of ash and can be quite violent when they explode and they build up uh, flatter domes called cinder cones. 
and the final volcano is a shield volcano and lava doesn't eject violently like the other two but it flows over the crater rim quite gently forming a broad low profile so these are normally more flat than the other two. Well done guys if you got question number one right. Moving on to question number two let's find out how you did. So number two um, I asked you what are the classifications of a volcano there are three so we had active which means that they are there is regular activity from that volcano and um, then you've got dormant which was the second one which means that there has been some activity but it hasn't happened for a while and um, so the final one that I was after is extinct so the class classification of extinct means that there hasn't been any activity in that volcano for a really really long time and it's very unlikely that there will ever be ever again. So you've got extinct, which is the final one. So you've got active, dormant, and extinct. So moving on to question number three. Question number three, I asked you, can volcanoes only be found on land? I said, is that true or false? The answer is false. You can get submarine volcanoes, which means they're underneath the water. Um, apparently 70 to 80 percent of all volcanic eruptions that happen on earth happen underneath water so yes there definitely are ones under the sea and um, the Hawaiian Islands were in fact made from volcanic activity which happened underneath the ocean so um, the answer for question number three was false you can get volcanoes underneath the sea uh, question number four um, I asked you what is magma so magma is molten rock that sits underneath the surface of the earth's crust or in the chambers of a volcano and um, it only becomes lava when it reaches the surface so magma is molten rock final question question number five um, I asked you what was the famous historical city that got destroyed by a volcano? The correct answer is Pompeii. Um, so Pompeii was an Italian town um, and the volcano that erupted there, it was so violent it destroyed and burned um, the entire city and the people that were there. Um, the volcano that was that erupted I believe was called uh, Mount Ves 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 Vesvius. <laughs> Don't mind my cat. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Mount Ves Vesuvius. <laughs> She's coming back. Um, and yeah, that happened a long time ago, but it's still a very famous historical site that you can still visit today. So the ash actually preserved a lot of the buildings and the people that were there. So you can still go see that today. Um, so yeah, that was um, the answer to question number five. Well done guys for taking part. I'm really, really glad if you're still tuned in. I hope you've learned a little bit today. Um, I just wanted to leave you with one more fun fact and that is that, um, <laughs> I forgot what it is. <laughs> Leaving you with one final fun fact is that volcano, the word volcano, actually comes from the name of the Roman god of fire, which is Vulcan. So that makes sense, doesn't it? So that is my cool final fact for volcanoes. I hope you've enjoyed my quiz today. Um, stay tuned next Friday for another one, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.